Welcome to the rocket profile of the VLS-1, Brazil's first attempt to develop a satellite launch vehicle. The original VLS-1 was launched twice, once in 1997 and again in 1999, and both launches failed on their way to orbit. A third prototype exploded on the launch pad in 2003. Despite these setbacks, the Brazilian Space Agency has continued to work on the VLS system, a 50-ton launcher capable of getting 380 kilograms to orbit, with a multitude of different proposed upgrade configurations mixing and matching stages. The VLS-1 is an all-solid stage rocket. Its first stage consists of four strap-on S-43 sod rocket motors, each with 303 kilonewtons of thrust and 225 seconds of surface-specific impulse, burning for 59 seconds. The core S-43 TM sod motor is not lit on the ground, but ignited prior to booster separation. It delivers 320.6 kilonewtons of thrust with a vacuum ISP of 277 seconds and lasts for 58 seconds. The initial thrust of the boosters provided a substantial thrust-to-weight ratio in excess of 2, making for a challenging trajectory. The third stage is an S40 TM solid motor with a thrust of 208.4 kN, pushing the rocket for 56 seconds with an ISP of 275 seconds in vacuum. After it separates, an instrument package with orientation thrusters spins up the final stage prior to ignition at apoapsis. The final SRB is an S41 with a 68 second duration and 33.24 kN thrust. It has a specific impulse of 282 seconds in vacuum. Planned upgrades to the VLS system seek to replace the final stages with liquid stages. These would use either 4 or 1 ethanol liquid oxygen engines, with each engine delivering about 75 kN. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the VLS-1.